Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Rashmi Charan, sports dietitian, and my channel is all about science pack, no BS, sports nutrition advice for athletes. So if you like my content, then make sure to subscribe. So before I begin, let me ask you a question. Have you ever been sidelined by an injury, like a strain, sprain, or maybe something more serious, like a torn ligament? How is the feeling? I know it's demotivating, frustrating, and it can feel like a huge setback to your performance goals. So every athlete hopes to avoid injury, but is likely to face at some point. But here's the good news. What you eat during this downtime can make a world of difference. Right nutrition can speed up healing, reduce inflammation, and can help you bounce back stronger than ever. So today we are diving deep into nutrition tips for athletes returning from injury. We'll explore how to fuel your comeback through science pack strategies that will help repair your muscles, rebuild strength and reduce inflammation. And by the end of this video, you'll have a clear game plan for recovery because when it comes to healing, every bite counts. So let's get started. Let's first understand what actually happens when your body is healing. So when you're injured, your body goes through three stages of recovery. First stage is inflammation phase, which kicks in right after the injury and lasts for five days. This is when your body works overtime to remove the damaged tissue. You'll notice swelling, redness and pain during this phase and that's your immune system stepping in to clean up the mess. Then the next stage comes in, which is proliferation phase, which lasts from five days to three weeks. Here, your body starts producing new cells to repair the damage. And lastly comes maturation or remodeling phase. So this lasts from somewhere three weeks to two years, depending upon the severity of the injury. And here, your body starts strengthening and restructures the repaired tissues, preparing it to handle physical activity again. So each of these phases have different nutritional needs. For example, during inflammation phase, eating anti-inflammatory diet can really help. Whereas during proliferation phase, your body will need more proteins to build new tissues. So based on these healing processes, we can divide nutritional recommendation into two phases. First one is injury and immobilization, which is inflammation and proliferation phase. Whereas the second one is rehabilitation and that is maturation phase. So now let's talk about the nutrition for injury and immobilization phase. What should you actually be eating? One thing at athletes often overlook is that their body still needs energy and in some cases even more than usual healing burns calories and if your injury is severe your body's energy demands can increase by up to 20 percent and if you are on crutches then even walking can feel like a workout doubling or tripling your energy expenditure so athletes this is not the time to drastically cut your calories now let's talk about proteins during this phase you are at the risk of losing muscle mass due to immobilization so protein is the best friend here because it helps rebuild and repair muscle tissues so aim for 1 to 1.2 grams protein per kg body weight per day foods like eggs chicken tofu greek yogurt beans legumes and lentils are fantastic choices next comes carbohydrates which are another important piece of the puzzle but since you are not as active you will need slightly less than usual focus on high quality carbs like whole grains fruits and sweet potatoes and skip sugary drinks soda and processed snacks because they will only slow your recovery next comes fats which are equally important especially omega-3 fatty acids which are found in walnuts flax seeds fatty fish like salmon and mackerel these healthy fats help in reducing inflammation and support muscle repair. Finally, athletes don't underestimate the power of vitamins and minerals. For example, vitamin C plays a big role in tissue repair and immune function. So load up on citrus fruits, strawberries, bell peppers, broccoli, etc. Then comes vitamin A, which supports cell growth and development. And you'll find it in foods like sweet potatoes, carrots, tomatoes, and papaya. Then comes zinc, which helps with wound healing and protein synthesis. So make sure to include almonds, seeds like flax, pumpkin, sunflower, and seafood. 
and athletes don't forget to include vitamin D as it's crucial for bone health. A little sunlight of foods like fish and mushrooms can go a long way. And lastly, don't miss out on hydration. Staying hydrated is one of the simplest but most important things you can do. Water helps in transporting nutrients to the injured area and keeps your joint and tissues lubricated. So athletes, this is what you need to follow during your initial two stages of injury. Now once you are back to light movements and rehab exercises, your nutrition needs will shift. The focus here is on continuing to provide enough energy and proteins. Aim for 1.2 to 1.7 grams of protein per day to support tissue repair and recovery as well as muscle growth. This is the time you also need to increase your intake of antioxidant rich fruits and vegetables which will help in reducing oxidative stress from your rehab workouts. So think of colored fruits and vegetables like tomatoes, carrots, papaya, colored bell peppers, spinach and blueberries. Keep prioritizing omega-3 fats to reduce your inflammation and make sure all your meals are balanced with carbs, proteins and healthy fats to fuel your training sessions. So athletes, I told you what you should eat, but now let's talk about what to avoid. Some foods and activities can actually slow down your recovery. So stay away first of all from fried and fatty foods they can worsen inflammation then next comes added sugar and concentrated sweets which can cause energy crash and disrupt your healing process next comes alcohol it inhibits muscle protein synthesis and it increases muscle loss and lastly less than optimal sleep athletes should sleep 8 to 10 hours per day especially when you are injured so athletes remember Right nutrition can make all the difference in your recovery. Whether you are sidelined with a minor sprain or recovering from a surgery, fueling your body with right nutrients will help you heal faster and come back stronger. And if you found this video helpful, then please give me a thumbs up, share it with your training buddies and don't forget to subscribe for more science back tips. And do let me know in the comments what's your favorite recovery food when you are dealing with an injury. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely weekend and I shall see you next week.